Hi, welcome to the 19th year of the group exhibit of Hydrogen in Fuel Cells at Hanover Messe. Um, please come and have a seat and enjoy a free beverage. Um, we will be discussing the lowest cost renewable energy storage and telecom backup power system. I will be speaking with Paul Burt of uh, Acta Power Systems. So please come on up to the stage. Paul. Hi. Thank you. Have a seat. Thank you. So perhaps you could please start with uh, where ACTA is located and uh, a bit of a history about ACTA. Okay. Uh, we are from Pisa, Italy, and uh, we founded the company in 2004 to develop uh, a new technology, an alkaline membrane uh, for fuel cell originally and electrolyzer. Uh, the reason for developing uh, alkaline membrane uh, uh, products was essentially the fact that this type of membranes, unlike uh, PEM, do not require uh, um, noble metals in catalyst and in the material construction. So uh, we found that uh, uh, in particular, was, this was very important for the electrolyzers, and, and that's where we have concentrated our recent activity, and uh, we have developed a full line of electrolyzer products. Um, so what, uh, what electrolyzer products have you developed? What's new um, and available from ACTA? Well, the, we have uh, introduced here in the exhibition the ACTA Power, which is uh, a system based uh, on a Ballard fuel cell uh, developed by uh, Futury, together uh, combined with uh, an ACTA electrolyzer. This, in a nutshell, makes uh, a self-recharging fuel cell system, uh, which is the ideal system for static uh, uh, type of application. So what are the advantages of the active power system and uh, what applications can it be used for? Well, the, the key advantage is the fact that uh, um, the, while the, uh, let's say, the fuel cell advantages, uh, I would say, are absolutely obvious. One issue uh, is the hydrogen logistics. Um, the uh, combination of a fuel cell with uh, a, an hydrogen generator in the, inside the system uh, just get rid of all the logistic issues and burden uh, connected to recharging the system. Uh, there are uh, alternatives, for instance, um, the methanol. Uh, you can crack methanol, produce hydrogen uh, on board, but then you still are connected uh, with, with, a, with the issues of uh, a fuel that has to be, in any case, transported and uh, loaded on the machine. So um, we believe that there is a lot of synergy between uh, our uh, electrolyzer and the fuel cell. And we think that the combined system is really uh, offering the customer, the end user, a solution, the energy supply solution that uh, is requested in many sectors. So in terms of your consumers um, and the applications, uh, we're talking about telecom and renewables. Can you go into how a, a telecom company would um, benefit from using this system and uh, some of its uh, sure. applications? You see, uh, typically um, telecom towers you know, are <laughs> widely distributed all over the country. So whilst uh, in uh, urban areas, uh, the connection to a reliable power supply is uh, easily achieved um, in uh, many of the more remote locations the connection to a power line becomes a burden very expensive and now 
if you take uh, the fact that, especially in developing countries, um, the mobile, uh, mobile communication is becoming the major source of communication rather than wire-based systems, okay, you, you see that in these countries, the infrastructure for power is particularly weak, and I think uh, this is an area where most of uh, uh, fuel cells uh, backup systems are installed. And at the same time, you see uh, the benefit uh, of having a system that is uh, completely independent from the grid uh, becomes uh, a very valuable, uh, very valuable offering. Um, in particular, the system, in order to be available in this uh, off-grid size, has to be connected to renewables. Connecting, yeah, please. So, in terms of the renewables, um, you know, how is hydrogen um, produced typically with things like solar solar panels, and what are the issues, and uh, how does your system uh, resolve these issues? Well, the, uh, the renewable uh, is indeed uh, the best uh, uh, way to solve the, the off-grid uh, uh, power supply system to telecom-based power. Uh, the problem with renewables is that they are intrinsically in intermittent, uh, whether they, this is wind or, or solar energy. And uh, the hydrogen production system has to be able to cope uh, uh, with a zero to 100% prompt response. Uh, and this is uh, what you can achieve uh, with, uh, with uh, a membrane-based uh, electrolyzer. So uh, that's where it comes our electrolyzer because our electrolyzer has this ability to go from zero to 100% load, uh, and at the same time is capable of compressing the hydrogen up to 30 bar, which is a fundamental point uh, to fill up a tank and to create a, a, a spare capacity to, to run uh, the, the fuel cell. So we think that the combination of the two systems is offering to telecom uh, sites, especially for those sites that are far from the grid, far from a connection, uh, offers a perfect solution as a secondary uh, energy supply system. In terms of these, uh, these systems, are they currently available on the marketplace? Um, and if not, when do you anticipate them to be we are uh, delivering the first 10 units in June. We, are, uh, we have our um, system installed and running in our plant. And um, we, the first demonstration uh, to customers will start uh, in May, and the delivery will be in June. Are there any questions from the audience for Dr. Pa sorry, for Paul O'Brien? Anyone? Um, I have another question for you. So with regards to um, Hanover Messe, you've been here quite a few years now um, intermittently. So what, what brings you back this year and what have you noticed in terms of the industry and the shift of the ideology of the industry? What, what's new? Well, obviously it's a, it's a very interesting audience, a worldwide audience, and it's also a, an excellent meeting point to meet uh, suppliers, uh, competitors, and exchange ideas. Um, the major change that I have seen is the fact that the uh, emphasis is now turning from uh, fuel cells that are, in my point, my view at this point, uh, are well established and understood, is moving toward uh, the uh, hydrogen generation. Because uh, in reality, you know, uh, the, the, the fuel cell immediately captures the imagination and the interest, but the re really uh, there is no fuel cell without hydrogen. So the development of uh, an hydrogen infrastructure 
is essential to the, to the fuel cell. We think that uh, our system, which is offering uh, uh, the lowest cost uh, um, potential and at the same time uh, uh, performance that are equal to the best electrolyzer in uh, PEM electrolyzer, uh, we believe is going really to benefit uh, the fuel cell industry as a whole. At the moment, uh, we are still, um, in, let's say, in our development of a full range of products. So at the moment, uh, we are capable of producing up to uh, one cubic meter electrolyzer. We are now moving to the five cubic meter, and uh, we see that in our future we will be soon uh, reaching the uh, the bigger size uh, for uh, utility scale. When I say soon, I mean in the next three four years. I think uh, our technology will emerge as the alternative to the PEM or to the alkaline electrolyzer of today. Well, I look forward to seeing what ACTA does in the future and uh, the launch of the, of the system in June. So thank you for coming on stage today and thank you for taking the time. Thank you. Thank you.